What's up guys? Today I got four baseball drills that you can do with an empty bottle. All right, two pitching drills and two hitting drills. The first pitching drill you can do with the empty bottle is gonna be the toe tap drill. All you're gonna do is get set up in your pitching delivery stance. You're gonna lift your leg up nice and low. You don't have to do a high leg kick. Tap the bottle with your foot. Uh, hold it there for a second. Get your hips moving forward and then let that front door swing open. You're gonna work on leaving that front foot back as you start moving down the mound. This is gonna help you get into a good position for uh, more hip to shoulder separation. Just make sure when you're doing this drill that your alignment stays good when you're landing on your stride foot. The second pitching drill that you can do with the empty bottle is called the low grab rockers. What you're gonna do is set the empty bottle behind you uh, a little bit behind your heel and back off of the rubber and you're just gonna kneel down, or not kneel down, but bend into it just like the normal rocker drills um, that you, I'm sure many of you are familiar with. And you're gonna get real nice and low. Make sure, you, first of all, your alignment is straight toward your target. Heel to heel with your toe pointing at the uh, home plate. Then you're gonna get nice and low on that back leg, grab that ball, create a uh, shoulder angle, and then turn and burn on that, on that throw. You can either leave your back foot back or let it come up and over as you're doing this pitching drill. The third drill you can do with the empty bottle is gonna be a hitting drill. And we can work on hitting low balls because most tees don't go this low. All you wanna do is set up your empty bottle out in front of the plate, put your baseball on top of it, and work on hitting that low ball. You can use this just as a tee work, outside, middle, inside, driving the ball opposite field up the middle and pull side, just working on getting down there. Main thing you wanna think about on this drill is driving down to get the ball. I don't want you to go down there to get, get it with your hands and get extended. I still want you to stay short to the ball and inside of that ball, just go down to get it with your back knee and your body angle. The fourth hitting drill you can do with the empty bottle is gonna be the step over drill. All you're gonna do is set this empty bottle up in front of your foot Take your stride, do your modified leg kick, which in my opinion is the best leg kick you can have for hitting, and step over that water bottle as you swing. You can hit off a tee when you're doing this drill, preferably using the tee, um, and just work on gaining a little bit of ground because I see too many, guy, too many guys not using enough leg drive when they're hitting and just spinning out on their backside. This drill is great for them to teach them how to gain a little bit more ground. Obviously, don't use a ball or anything that can roll your ankle when you're doing this drill, but like I said, it's a great drill to work on gaining that ground on your stride, which is important to create some good leg drive and energy in your swing. Please, please do me a favor. If you like this video, share it. I'm trying to get the word out about you go pro baseball, and I appreciate all the love that you guys have given me along the years. If, of course, if this is your first time seeing a video, hit that subscribe button because I got a bunch of great new videos coming out um, and share all those as well. I really appreciate all your help and your support and all the love. And I love to uh, get that thumbs up and talk to you in the comments below. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the comments below. Let me know which one of your uh, these four drills that you do with the empty bottle is your favorite. And I'll tell you mine too. See you in the comments below.